Feminazi! Opening your eyes to the lies of social justice. My personal experiences with social justice and feminism started around the time of what is affectionately known as Donglegate. The incident where a woman named Adria Richards was at PyCon, which is a technical conference for Python programmers, and she turned around, took a photograph of two men, smiled at them, tweeted that they were harassing her with jokes about big dongles and forking, and that it wasn't cool, resulting in them getting fired, and then her getting fired. The thing is, before this happened, I didn't care. I had no reason to care about feminism or social justice or any kind of major social movements. There was just no reason to even think about it. I didn't really know anything about it because it didn't matter to me. Because I personally had not had any exposure to it. Unfortunately, the whole Donglegate incident seems to have marked a time where we changed over from being able to be blissfully ignorant of some people having ridiculous ideas about how other people should behave and attempting to enforce those on those other people. We seem to have changed from being able to just not pay attention to any of that kind of stuff because those people that you saw, well, they're a vocal minority and there's not really any huge concern about them. What are they going to do? They're not going to do anything that we care about. You know, there was no crossover into industries that I have any kind of involvement with. The problem lies in the fact that now you have people who once perhaps would have been satisfied obtaining their degree in women's studies at college, getting some job for some nonprofit somewhere, like Equality Now, trying to keep women from having their genitals mutilated in third world countries. Now you have those people focusing on what has to be the pinnacle of first world problems and creating boogeymen that have penises predominantly that don't actually exist. You have a group of people infiltrating what they would coin predominantly male spaces, which I don't really even understand why it matters. It doesn't make any sense to me that having a larger number of men than women in a particular field is somehow some sort of a problem because correlation does not equal causation. So does it really matter? Anyway, the point is, suddenly we have these radical people who are foaming at the mouth about non-existent problems infiltrating areas which I work in and basically defecating upon many things that I hold as important. They were not invited. They did not come with friendly intent. There is nothing redeeming about their self-introduction into technology and gaming. In fact, if we were to say anything about them, it is that they are downright hostile. These people ruin everything that they touch. That's why I created this channel, because I'm tired of it. I am tired of watching as the media accepts their narrative. Because if you don't stop this cancer somewhere, it's just going to continue to spread. Somebody has to put their foot down and say, this is enough. You're not going to do this. You're not going to show up having no prior involvement with a group and then attempt to tell that group what they must do using intimidation and bullying tactics. Today's flavor of social justice is not far from domestic terrorism. I want to create more videos discussing this subject and other subjects that are deemed controversial. There are things I'd like to talk about that people can't talk about comfortably. I don't want these crazy people on the internet to continue wielding such power over the lives of people who are doing nothing to bother them, who aren't holding them back, and who are just trying to enjoy their lives without being molested by these social justice lunatics. There is no excuse. There is no value valid reason for them to behave as they do. This channel is all about telling them enough and keeping social justice out of our daily lives. I'm Feminazi, and I look forward to working with you on eliminating the plague of social justice.